Los Angeles, California. Welcome to the Late Late Show. I'm your host, TV's Craig Ferguson. Please sit down, relax. Cover yourself in garlic and crosses. <laughs> but that won't keep me away. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Uh, unless, of course, you're a gay vampire. <laughs> well, usually every day is a great day if you're a gay vampire. Uh, or at least, or at least fabulous. Do you know what I'm talking about? Maybe you don't. Uh, the, the big budget uh, Broadway musical, Lestat, opened on Broadway. Today, or last night, uh, it opened. And it's getting stiffed by the critics. They're going after it. Whoa, it's horrible. The, 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 it's, uh, it's about... It's very bad reviews, is what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> it's about... Uh, you do your own double entendres. Don't you leave it to me. I am... Um, the, 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 the show is about a sexually ambiguous vampire. Okay, I'm in. And, and it has music by Elton John. So how could, it, how could it go wrong? You know, I don't know about you. When I think about vampires, I think about slender, seductive creatures of the night. Maybe not Elton John then. Maybe that's not what I saying. <laughs> not really a guy playing the piano dressed as a goose. That's not really that frightening. Well, it's quite frightening. Anyway, look, I usually I don't like the musicals. I'm not a huge fan of Who Will Buy My Sausages? I'm not really, it's not really me. I didn't, I like some, I like some of them. I don't like all of them. I didn't like The Phantom of the Opera. You know, three hours watching a guy swinging on a chandelier, I don't get it. <laughs> 75 bucks for that. You can walk into any of the old bars in my old neighborhood and see a guy doing that for nothing. <laughs> He's fine, Mr. Henderson. Good! <laughs> anyway, one musical, I <laughs> one musical I really did enjoy was the, uh, the Mamma Mia musical. Have you seen? That's fantastic. The Mamma Mia musical is about... It's all, uh, it's all ABBA songs. It's, all ABBA. it's really an excuse just to listen to ABBA for two hours. <laughs> does that make me gay? It probably does, doesn't it? I, I, I like, I love, I do, I, all right, I admit it, I listen to Abba and I moisturize. Okay, so what? It's the 21st century, for goodness sake. It's all right. I can do that. Can I do that? Yes, why not? Sometimes I even wear a cowboy hat. Listen, I... I, anyway, you know, in the, the Mamma Mia musical, the, the characters are named after the song titles, the Abba song titles. So there's like, there's a character called Chiquitita. There is. Somebody even says at one point, I think, Chikatita, tell me what's wrong. And, and there's, a, there's a dancing queen. Well, that's all musicals. And then there's, there's, and there's a character called Fernando. In the Mamma Mia musical, it's called Fernando. Someone actually says at some point, can you hear the drums? Fernando, they say it. And then, then they sing the song. You know what you're getting. I liked it. Just saying. Anyway, these... Uh, <laughs> There are musicals now, they're, they're based on all the, you know, everyone does it, the, you know, the ABBA musical, Mamma Mia, there's uh, Johnny Cash, Billy Joel, the uh, Queen, Rod Stewart, they make all these musicals out of it, you know, and I, I think they're going to run out of big name artists, they're going to have to have musicals based on one hit wonders, because no one else is going to be left, be like, <laughs> who let the dogs out, the musical, <laughs> who let the dogs out, who, who, there's a real that's not a bad idea, is it? You could have a musical all one hit. What? That's pretty good. I just have to make a phone call. No, that would be a good idea. All one hit wonders. You could have, uh, you know, the Who Let the Dogs Out. You could have uh, the, the I'm Too Sexy. People remember the rights that oh, I'm too sexy for the song. Too sexy for the <laughs> Too sexy for your party. Too sexy for a career, as it turns out. Yeah. Uh, Another, uh, uh, the, the Macarena. You could have the Macarena in it as well. You know, the Macarena. I don't, e I don't even know who sang the Macarena. I think it was, I think it was Al Qaeda. Uh, who did the Mac yeah. <laughs> That's right, Al Qaeda sang the Macarena. Macarena. Jazz to America. Hey, I'm just reporting. It was them. 
<laughs> what was I talking about? Oh, the vampire musical Lestat, yeah. Now, the vampire musical Lestat, it's based on the, uh, the character in the Anne Rice book, Interview with the Vampire, which uh, I don't know if you've I've read the book. It's not that scary, really. It's kind of like a book for teenage girls, I think. It's, kind of, it's more like, are you there, God? It's me, Dracula. It's kind of like that. <laughs> you want to see the email I'm going to get now? It's not like that! I hate you, Stinky! <laughs> I hate you more than I hate people that are mean to unicorns. <laughs> anyway, this is what I know about vampires. They bite you, and then you become a vampire. And then you bite someone else, and, you know, and on. It's kind of like a pyramid scheme. And... <laughs> but, but you have to be very careful. Because nowadays, you know, you're not just biting one person. You're biting everyone they've ever bitten as well. <laughs> Might want to get something on your teeth. Now, I've never met a vampire in my life. I know I'm Scottish, but I've never met a vampire. I have, however, uh, occasionally run into Bob Barker. He works around here. 